Did you realize that you can identify arsenic poisoning through your nails? Arsenic, which is a very potent carcinogen, has affinity for keratin, which happens to be in your nails. So the presentation would be this transverse or horizontal whiteness or a band across your nails. Now realize that that's just one indicator and unless you actually get tested, you're not gonna know for sure, but this is definitely one symptom. So if you have this, go get a check. There's other symptoms too that can relate to arsenic poisoning, skin issues like a red rash or swelling, warts, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle cramps, headache, peripheral neuropathies, which is either pain or tingling or burning on your feet or your, your fingertips. And this could also be caused by diabetes, but arsenic poisoning is one of the causes. Now, the important thing about arsenic is to differentiate between the two types of arsenic. You have inorganic arsenic and organic arsenic. Now, this word organic is a different definition than if you were to buy organic food, okay? Organic food relates to food without pesticides or insecticides or even antibiotics. When we're talking about organic arsenic, we're talking about the arsenic that is naturally in the soil, okay? It's a different type than the inorganic, which is man-made. Organic arsenic is, is in the soils, and it's pretty much gonna be in all vegetables to some degree. However, it doesn't accumulate in the body like inorganic, and it's a lot less toxic, and your, our bodies generally can deal with it much better. But this is the problem right here, inorganic arsenic. Now take a while to guess what country is the world's leading user of arsenic since 1910. This is a hint right here. It's the US, of course. So in America, we use a tremendous amount of arsenic. We've used 1.6 million tons of arsenic. That's a lot of poison put into our environment. And that can come from many different sources, uh, pesticides, insecticides, they used to put it in fertilizers with the chicken byproducts. I think they banned that in 2015. Uh, but don't quote me, they might still be using it. Um, then we have rice. 17% of the arsenic that's in our environment is from rice, especially brown rice. Rice is grown in a very wet environment. And apparently that environment or that condition allows the rice to pull this arsenic into the plant. So if you're consuming a lot of rice, you could potentially have higher levels of arsenic. But of course, if you're on the keto diet, you don't have to worry about that. And then fruit and fruit juice uh, contributes to 18% of the arsenic exposure. And of course, if you're on keto, you're not consuming fruit and definitely not fruit juices. And then you have the vegetable family, which is giving us about 24% of all the arsenic. But realize that if the vegetable is organic and not grown with insecticides, pesticides, that type of arsenic is probably mostly organic, so it's a lot less toxic. Fish also has some arsenic, organic arsenic, in very, very small amounts. And there's a couple natural remedies that can also help detoxify arsenic. The, the biggest one is alpha-lipoic acid, and then choline, and then the B-complex. I would recommend getting the B-complex from a natural source like nutritional yeast that's unfortified or unenriched. All right, that's a wrap, and thanks so much for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.